What's up, everybody? It's Z Border for Airsoft, and today I'm, uh, well, first off, I would just like to, uh, say thank you for, um, all my 27 subscribers. <laughs> and you're gonna probably make fun of me for that, but, um, yeah, uh, like, I, like, I know that's not a lot at all, but, um, like, a lot of people quit after, like, 10 subscribers. But, um, a company said they would, uh, sponsor me for 50, um, subscribers. And I know that's not that much, but, uh, and it's, it's not that great of a sponsorship. It's, like, the first tier of sponsorships when, like, other ones you get free stuff and stuff. Like, most of them, you know, but those are for, like, really great sponsorships. Um, but, uh, yeah, um... Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do, um, a remake, remake video. So finally a video of this in high quality of my, uh, wind gun, uh, 7 series. Um, so, uh, this is the 4-inch version, uh, if you've seen the last episode, the last episode of this gun, I was doing it with an iPod, and... That's really bad quality, but finally I got an HD camera. I got this that camera a while ago, the one you are viewing on today. And, um, so yeah, this is the 701 wind gun revolver, and, uh, it's the 4-inch version. Uh, there's three different versions. So there's the 4-inch, the 6-inch, and the 8-inch. And they also have a green gas version, I believe. But, uh, yeah, wind gun's a very good company. Although, um, well, oh, what happened here? But anyway, this is, um, what you'll find in the box. You'll find the gun itself, um, not with CO2 in it, of course, I used this last weekend and kept the CO2 in, um, speed loader, uh, revolver shells, um, not with the BB in it, um, I don't know where that went, um, it was, uh, I got this a while ago, so I don't have all the pieces. Um, you get a, uh, 100 round bottle of BBs, um, two rails, uh, this is a scope rail, put on the top of the gun, I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and, um, this is the, uh, bottom rail, um, for, like, laser grip. But that really doesn't make any sense for a revolver. So yeah, um, the coolest feature about this gun I like is the shells because it adds a lot of realism. Although they're not as dirty as mine are, I got this like six months ago. So um, oh, plus they should say 700 wind gun on them. Probably can't say that, but um, I have some Dan Wesson bullets in here. Dan Wesson works, I think that's how you pronounce it, they uh, work for this gun. So, um, if you're wondering about that, yes, Dan Wesson does work for that. Um, so you get six of them in here. Um, definitely some accessories I would recommend for this gun would be a, like, red dot scope. I bought, like, um, a mini sniper scopes, like, five inch sniper scopes. They look like sniper scopes. But really, they're not that strong. They have like a far eye relief. Um, those are pretty good. Um, I think they have like, like I've seen these, um, they're small sniper scoops. They look about this big. And, um, yeah, you could put them on a pistol. Uh, they have a far eye relief. Um, and I found one, but when I got it, it turned out to be like a 12 inch sniper scoop with like 2 inch eye relief. So, uh, that was kind of disappointing, but, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that, but if you're into that, <laughs> by all means, do that. Um, I would just recommend a red dot for it, and maybe a laser for the bottom. Um, I'm going to show you how to get the top rail on, because it's kind of complicated. It took me, like, um, a few days to figure out, <laughs> and, um, oh, it also comes with a, uh, a, um, can't think of the name, 
You'll probably you'd probably remember it in uh they usually come with all their stuff guns. Oh gosh. Can't think of the name, um Whatever, um yeah, it comes with uh the bars, you know, the L bars or whatever they're called. Um it comes with those I don't know how I forgot the name, but yeah, well, whatever. Um also, um definitely if you are gonna use this gun for um like actual like backyard wars, um airsoft arenas, definitely don't get this for an indoor arena because this is like four hundred and fifty FPS. But um yeah, arenas and stuff like that. Um definitely rec would recommend extra bullets because you're probably going to lose them because I've lost about, I think like four of them already. And um, yeah, definitely some accessories you would want to get with this gun is another speed loader and bullets. Um, on Amazon, there's a deal for 25 bullets for I think 20 bucks or something like that, which is a great deal because six of these plus a speed loader cost. 20 bucks, so I would get the $25. Um, definitely gonna need a flathead screwdriver, normal screwdriver, uh, for taking off the rails. Once again, I'll show you that. Um, CO2, definitely an important thing. I would recommend the 25 uh, count of CO2. Um, these things are fairly cheap at Walmart um, if you have an outdoor world near you, they're really cheap there. I have one near me, um, so, uh, yeah, um, CO2, Crossman, they're really cheap, they're, like, Crossman makes good quality BBs and CO2, that's about it, <laughs> so, um, they're, uh, very well priced, and also, um, yeah, taken in, into war, recommend, a uh, holster. This is uh, one that I got with a pellet gun, so, yeah, uh, BBs, BBs are an important thing. Um, one cool feature I'd like to, sh um, well not feature, but more of a thing you can do to load it, is just put all of the, this is probably the quickest way of reloading it, put all of the shells in the speed loader, that's how you put it in the speed loader, see, so you just push it up, twist it. Open your thing for BBs up. Get that out of there. And just go like that a few times. And the BBs get stuck in it and then you just pop them all in. It's a really good way of doing that. Um, so yeah, uh, put in the CO2. Just open this up. Twist out the, the crank thing. Um, take out your old CO2, put new CO2 in, twist it uh, clockwise, and put it back in. Really easy to do. What I really like about um, this gun is that it will not leak CO2 when you put it in. A lot of them I've seen, especially the ones that you buy at Dick's Sporting Goods, um, uh, as soon as you t uh, hit the knob that uh, punctures the CO2, it will just like spray out all out, so you have to turn it fast. But with this gun, you just turn it um, until it punctures it. It will just like make a tiny sound. You'll barely hear it, and then um, just twist it like another like little bit, and it'll close. It's really easy to put CO2 in. Um, now I'm going to show you how to put the top rail. So um, yeah, to put this on a uh, Oh yeah, um, anyway, this is what I was talking about, this is the other thing that comes with, don't worry, you don't need this to, um, it's not this size, it's, uh, this came with my scope, so, it's really small, um, it's used to, uh, tighten these things once you put that on, but I'll show you that afterwards, oh wait, yeah, you do need that, <laughs> never mind, but, um, what you want to do first is remove this pin, I've done this, once you take it out, you don't really need it, um, it's in this tiny little hole. You can barely see it. Um, and basically that keeps this part in the sight and this curved part right here. 
you take that out from here with like a bobby pin or safety pin or something and yeah then you can remove that so uh this that's the main step After, because um if you keep that in when you try to take this off it will just stay on and you can't take it off so um next what you gotta do is you gotta take your uh flathead and put it in there and twist like that once you do that this thing will pop right off um, don't lose this spring and uh, this screw don't lose the screw um, and yeah that's the site basically uh, this screw right here is just to adjust it I believe uh, right and left and then that one's to adjust it up or to take it off then once you have done that you take it from I believe it's the more curved side I might be wrong and you slide it on there like so okay now it's the other side I think is it? no it was the side <laughs> can't remember I haven't put this thing on in a while. Yeah, like that. Then you take this thing and tighten it up. But fortunately I lost that. Don't worry if you lose uh, that. You can uh, still put this back on. Just reverse what you just did. Put that in there. There's a little hole in there. That's where the spring goes. Here, I'll just do it like this. And then once you do that, put the screw back in, and yeah, there you go. And that's it um, to put that on. And then this one just goes on really easy on the bottom, on the bottom, slides on, don't even need to tighten it, just slides on like that. So, um... Oh, another thing I forgot to show you is uh, to um, safety. How this works is um, back is uh, safe, forward is fire, and then fo holding down forward even more pushes the chamber out. Stick the bullets right in there. Um, so, uh, yeah. Sea border for airsoft. Please check out my other channel, Z Border for Game, if you like Call of Duty and all that. I do uh, Just Cause 2, which is a really fun game. Um, it's for the Xbox, PS3, uh, PC. It's it's the most fun game I've ever played. Basically, what you do is you it's like the second game of this the series, Just Cause, and basically in the game you're. Uh, I'm getting off topic, but, yeah, it's just really fun. Check it out. Um, Yeah, but anyway, um, check out my channel, Z Border for Game. It is, uh, yeah, my gaming channel I record with a Roxio Game Capture, the new one, and it's actually surprisingly good quality. But, uh, anyway, check that out. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, and, uh, yeah, Z Border for yourself. See ya.